After three days of strong winds and rain, the weather had improved enough so we could get out onto the water. The plan was to leave Ardmugnish Bay, travel up the Lynn of Lawn on the south side of Lismore, to Castle Stalker, up to Linney Marina, then back to Port Appin for lunch. Returning on the north side of Lismore, around Lismore Lighthouse and back to Ardmugnish Bay. A journey of approximately 40 miles and about four hours on the water. The conditions were good. A relatively calm sea and even a little bit of sunshine. Passing Port Appin, we approach Appin Lighthouse a little slower as it was much shallower. Castle Stalker dates back to the early 14th century and was begun by the MacDougalls, the then Lords of Lawn. The Lordship of the Lawn later passed to Sir John Stuart, who built the current Castle Stalker around 1446. The name Stalker in Gaelic loosely translates to Hunter or Falconer. The castle and its owners have had a turbulent history and is well worth reading about. The castle is open to the public but only on certain days. Unfortunately today wasn't one of them. Time to head down to Port Appin for some lunch. At Port Appin we took a stroll to stretch our legs on the hill behind the pier house where we had our lunch. After lunch we followed the Lismore ferry through the rocks and reefs to the north side of Lismore. After all he knows the way much better than I. Once around the top of Lismore, it became very apparent that the tide had turned and the wind was starting to pick up. The question was, do we press on with our plans to go around Lismore Lighthouse or retrace our steps back to Ardmockmish Bay? I took what I think was the prudent choice and returned roughly the way we had come.
After going through a passing rain shower, it became much cooler and the wind blew harder. Diane thought it was a little bit bouncy on the way back. The wind hadn't dropped and it was still very choppy, but what a difference a little bit of sunshine makes. Shame we couldn't make it around this small lighthouse, but it was still a brilliant day. <laughs>